Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday, September 26th, day 29. I'm back on the trail. Just off of, um, I'm on, just came up the Onion Valley, Onion Valley Trailhead from Independence. And I'm heading, uh, I get about seven and a half miles up and over Kearsarge Pass, which goes to 11,800 feet, I believe. Um, I'm presently at close to 10,000 until I get to the PCT. So it's going to be a hard, hard couple of hours. I'm not acclimatized to this elevation and I don't have my hiker legs, but hey, you got to start somewhere. So 10 a.m. or about quarter past 10, hitting the trail. My dear cousin Kate and her husband Bill dropped me off and brought me all the way from Reno, Nevada. So many thanks to Kate and Bill. Enjoyed your company. Thank you so much. Let's start this. Hey guys, I've done only about 45 minutes. I'm going pretty darn slow. I'm winded. I'm up over 10,000 feet. And you can see this is where I'm good around me. There's the trail. And there's more mountains. I'll be heading up across that grassy area. See a beautiful waterfall. And you see remnants of snow which exist throughout the Sierra pond there. It's beautiful up here. It's not particularly hot or, or cold. Pretty comfortable. I took my wind jacket off. Legs a little sweaty, but um, I'll reconsider that once I get to Kearsarge Pass at 11,800. Hey guys, two years ago, in early October, I set out on to finish the PCT again after the forest had opened and the air quality index had improved. And it was around this section here, very rocky section of trail, that I fell and broke my rib, damaged the other, tore tendons in my hand. I was face down for about a half hour, couldn't get up off the ground. Snow was coming down sideways, I couldn't see the trail, that was the problem. And I liked it to head back down to the parking lot and hitched all the way to Kennedy Meadows and uh, and continued hiking, but only made another 75 miles if the pain was too much. So, yeah, one step can do you in. So, I'm almost through this area. I, let's hope that's a sign of an omen. This is one of the Kearsarge lakes. It's not, the ice has never gone away. It's near the end of September. It's still covered. And there's a hiker coming down. And I'm heading up that away through some further switchbacks. And I'll be at 11,800 feet. I don't think I've ever been so out of breath. Yeah. Hey guys, straight away that's uh, Kearsarge Pass at 11,800 feet. I was just dying when I made it there. So I didn't stick around long, took a few picks and then headed down. I'm at a lower elevation now and I'm 
done a lot of switchbacks and I'm coming to my left look at this gorgeous area here I'm going in that direction it's Bullfrog Lake and but man look at the rest of these mountains I think these are called Kearsarge Pinnacles I think glad I'm not up there glad I'm down here and heading lower so peak elevation today 11,800 feet uh, probably camp at around 10,500. That's my goal. I could do higher and It's a consideration about how close I want to get to Kearsarge Pass Which is well over 13,000 feet, but you know, it's been a hard day and if I could uh, Camp somewhere and Maybe get a little conditioning while I sleep and they do by the way advise that just even sleeping your lungs start adapting to the elevation so yeah, versus other people have told me they they might try and get closer to Forester Pass so they have less of a miserable climb in the morning. And it's a steep climb with some snow and ice on the trail. UPIA. Okay, check in later. Hey guys, it's a quarter of three. I finally finished this access path, Kearsarge Path, up to the PCT. Um, yeah, so now it's... It's late, kind of later in the day than I expected. That was a arduous climb. Look at this, how rugged this area looks. Holy smokes. Hopefully I'm not going over that. You never know. One of them I'm probably going over because tomorrow is, I think, 13,800. Oh, brother. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to hike down here, do another, I don't know, four miles, and then... Uh, Find a place to tent and get some water. I'm hungry, but I just don't want to stop because I made such slow progress this morning. I'm so winded going up to Kearse Arch Pass. And <clears throat> I think we're going to have a repeat of that tomorrow. Maybe worse since I'll be going more than... Today was 11,000. I think 11,000. I'm getting confused. 11,800 today and tomorrow is 13,400 or so. So, yeah. Hi. Talk to you soon. Repeat after me. Wow. So, you can hear a river close by. And I think I'm heading in that direction. It's probably Forester Pass is up there somewhere. You still see snow in the valley. So I'm looking at various 10 spots. There's one that's like five and a half miles. And I got some G2 that from a woman hiker ahead of me going south, like me that she said it'd probably be mobbed with PCT hikers. She said there's a load of folks in front of me. So I'd hate to get there if it's six miles. The uh, sun might be starting to set. So there's another one that's uh, short of that, another mile south, um, that has water. So I might choose that. Even though I like company, I just don't want to show up after a horde of people and find out there's... You know, my tent site is on top of a jagged rock, so uh, that'll leave me more distance to get to Forester Pass in the morning, but I'll evaluate that when I get there. I, got this, I just crossed the stream and I stopped and I got like a, a, a one liter of water. I didn't want to get more. I don't want to hurt my back any more than it's hurting because it's my neck and my left shoulder, which is cervical stenosis related is really acting up right now just all this weight because uh, this is about as much weight as i ever carry uh, because of the bear canister and the, the long haul before i can get to resupply in kennedy meadows that's it quite an avalanche shoot here coming down from this large mountain you can see it's several hundred yards wide and all the trees if you, you notice if you look close the the trunks are just ripped off up there and then goes right past the trail down here and probably stop when the at the at the river as well as there's a it's in the bright sun but there's a mountain on the other side probably stopped it okay press on <clears throat> hey there it's 6:20 it's the end of day 29 i found a decent tent site i'm happy with it and uh I'm cooking my meal right here, and you might see the corner of my tent in the woods, and there's my bear canister, which I'll be hiding in some place 
probably between tree trunks that are less likely to uh, be thrown over a cliff. And tomorrow I go up um, over 13,000 feet, I think 13,400 or so of a Forester Pass. I believe it's that way. It's uh, It's been a really hard day. Oh my God, so hard. I've got a headache right now. I'm sure it's the elevation. So hopefully I'll get 10 hours sleep tonight or more. It, undoubtedly it's going to be cold, probably near freezing or at below freezing. And uh, hopefully it'll start acclimating me to this elevation because I still have to go up crap another 2,000 feet tomorrow and then then it'll start getting a lot easier I won't do anything as nearly as high unless I do Whitney but um, I'm kind of leaning against it at this point because my head is killing with the elevation and Whitney is like 14,500 so that's it talk to you soon good day it was super challenging but I'm glad I'm here gonna get it done